video, just comment down your five right before you watch this, and then watch the video, and we'll see if we're twinsies. Okay, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And yeah, I finally have my glasses. I, I actually broke them like a while back, and then I haven't worn them for like two months. So this is like my first time actually like wearing them. And so my vision's like still like clearing up. And today we're gonna discuss top five MCU movies because a viewer, the comments right here, suggested that I do an MCU ranking list. Like I said in the last video, the last ranking video, this, this, these are facts. These are actual facts. These are actually the top five like lists. Like I looked it up online and like these are it. And I, I, I agree with that. So we're gonna go with that then. Okay, so let's get into it. Movie number five, we have, I, I literally can't decide if it's either Avengers Endgame or Civil War. This is like the hardest choice out of the whole list I had to make because both of them are amazing. I love Endgame because it had, a, had all the MCU characters unite. Like that was like the best part when they all united. Like all the emotions and bottom in one movie. That's what Endgame is. They have, and it's three hours long. So like you, I'm like never getting tired of Endgame. But then Civil War. Civil War, come on. Civil War do be slapping. Like back then, Civil War back then, when it first came out, was its end game now. If that makes sense. Because Civil War, it brought like mainly all the characters together. Not all of them, all of them, but it brought a good majority of them. I'm, I'm just gonna finalize it right now. End game is top five. So that's what it is. End game right here. MCU movie number four, Homecoming. Yeah, I'm down here. I'm down here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. I can't. Homecoming, I don't take it for it being a Spider-Man film. I take it to be as of a good film in general. The movie talked about, it's not what you wear that defines you, but it's more of you define your character and which, who you are defines you, if that makes sense. So that's why I really love that message. That's why it's number four on the MCU list. Number three, we have Ant-Man. Okay, so you got Ant-Man. And uh, number three. I really love that man. I'm sorry. I I love it. It's such it's such a great film. Scott Lang, he's he's just trying to be a good dad, and him not be able to get custody of his daughter or see his daughter until you know he had a sustainable life. That I really felt bad, and I really bonded with you know Scott Lang as a character. And it's also funny too. Like it doesn't hurt that it's a funny. It's like a great film, but it's also funny at the same time. So that's why I appreciate that. Number two, Guardians of the Galaxy. Stop Ronin. How? I have a plan. You've got a plan. Yes. First of all, you're copying me from when I said I had a plan. No, I'm not. People say that all the time. It's not that unique of a thing to say. Secondly, I don't even believe you have a plan. I have part of a plan. What percentage of a plan do you have? You don't get to ask questions after the nonsense you pulled on nowhere. I just saved Quill. We've already established that you destroying the ship that I'm on is not saving me. What Nonetheless, you guys might be saying, oh, it's because of the soundtrack. Soundtrack was amazing. It's crazy how Marvel grabbed a group of characters that no one knew about and, and modernized them. I really love the connection with Peter Quill's relationship with his mom. That relationship, I, that hit me right here. Hit me right here. The film has like kind of like this little darker tone to it that other MC movies don't have, but it's also light at the same time. That's why I think it's number two, because honestly, they grabbed a group of characters that no one knows uh, and, and rationalized them and made them modern and that everyone knows. Like, I didn't even know Groot was until like, you know, that movie came out. Okay, number one. Now, you guys might have some issues with number one, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is number one MCU movie of all time. Open your eyes. 
What is real? What mysteries lie beyond the reach of your senses? At the root of existence, mind and matter. It's hard to grasp, but it's a great movie. Honestly, it's different. It was a visually pleasing movie. Like, it was, like, attractive to watch. And it's crazy how they took away his best ability and took it away and how that destroyed his whole life. And that's why it's number one. That's my list. So let's, let's, let's recap. Number five, so Endgame. Number four, you have Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming. Number three, we have Ant-Man. Number two, you have Guardians of the Galaxy. Take a load of this guy. Number one, you have Doctor Strange. If you have any issues with my list, write down below. I want to know your top fives. I'm like being, I'm like genuinely being honest. Like I'm very curious about your top five MC movies. There's so many of them. It's really hard to choose. The classic OG Iron Man number one. Mwah. Fantastic. That's what started it all. It's hard not to put Iron Man 1 up there. You know, some of the Thor movies, you know, <laughs> the first couple weren't, weren't too good. They teach us a valuable lesson, and yet you learn from it. I want to say thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, if you have any conflicting issues with my top five movies, or just the top five movies in general, uh, write them down below, and we will have a discussion in the comments. So yeah, thank you guys. So have a great day. Goodbye.